The Honourable Member for Lac Saint Jean. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'd like to thank thank my colleague for that super speech. He talked about money being spent in the right place, uh, about managing public money better, and so on. Uh, well, one thing I know, Ma Mr. Speaker, is that today, right now, the oil companies made two hundred billion in profits. Two hundred billion in profits, and then the Conservatives say it's expensive to heat our homes, gas is more expensive, fossil fuels are costing more and more, and that's hard on taxpayers. Mr. Speaker, if the oil patch is making $200 billion in profits and the Canadian government continues to subsidize them to the tune of $43 billion uh, from now till 2035, is my colleague serious? Like, where's all the money going? And uh, uh, the question is an interesting one because I would simply uh, 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 mention that it's in terms of the equalization formula that, ex that exists in this country, uh, Alberta contributes 13, approximately $13 billion into the equalization formula, which is very complex, admittedly, but about $13 billion in, and Quebec receives about $13 billion from it. So, Mr. Speaker, uh, uh, Alberta has, ha has been clear that we will unleash its potential. We are uh, we are, are, are world leaders in, in, in producing clean, green resources, whether that's new tech and clean tech or whether that be the traditional uh, forms of energy like LNG and, and, and natural gas and oil, Mr. Speaker. I find it so unfortunate that it's members like that that would push our people into energy poverty as opposed to allow our country and our people to prosper. Mr. Speaker, when it comes to prosperity in this country, the Bloc Québécois should look themselves in the mirror and ask why they are keeping our, our people in poverty.